Hey guys, it's Steve from Sarah Designs. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to just play with some Dollar Tree stamps. I know it's been a while since we've done a video. A lot has been going on and I'll fill you in as we go. Uh, long story short, it was just Memorial Day here in the United States. So we had an extra long weekend. My dad was in the hospital. Turns out it was a uh, vitamin deficiency, a mag magnesium deficiency. So he's back on track with that. He's getting ready to head back down to Texas. Long story, don't wanna get into it. Um, so he's leaving Saturday for Texas. He'll probably be coming back and forth to see us. And what else is going on? Hunter, our dog, our Shiba Inu, about a week ago, had a really bad ear infection, 300 and some dollars later doing better a couple days after that he ended up with an ear infection in the other ear and that was 150 dollars so he's back on track now my car's on the fritz it's making a noise so that's another issue um i was supposed to go out and visit sarah and wasn't able to because of my car another issue and what else has been going on just life has just really gotten gotten away from us and i haven't had a chance to craft which i'm sad about so i have time now though lucky you um and i was on a no spending thing what do you call it no spending whatever for a year was my goal well i ended up not following that and I ended up, I did go to Dollar Tree and I did see a stamp that I don't have. And if you know Dollar Tree, you know that they're very limited on how often they get stamps. So when they get them, you want to get them. I bought the same stamp set, I think three times. I knew for a fact I didn't have this particular one. It's actually going to be either in the video prior to this one or after this one. I don't know which order it's going to be in. So I apologize for that. By the way, if you're not already subscribed, please make sure you do so. We do lots of fun, crafty stuff here. Um, and some haul videos, so. That is that. So, we're going to get into this. We're just going to play a little bit with some Stampin' Up. You don't have to have these. Use what you have. I just happen to have a bunch of Stampin' Up um, inks and whatnot that I hardly ever use because I just don't. I end up buying and never use stuff, so. I have some leftovers. These are old. I don't even know how old they are. Do they have a date on these? I don't know. Anyway, use the inks you have. I'm just, I just picked these out. These are all from the Dollar Tree. And we will play with these, because why not? This is one of the ones I had purchased three times. These little envelopes are from Timu. They're in my previous videos. I love them. Every time I place an order for Timu, I get more of these because I really like them a lot. So, first set we have is the garden set. And I figure we can play with this one. I just have an idea in my head. We'll see what's what. The next set we have is just this little flower one with some leaves. Nature. The next one we have is this one here which I love the flowers and I've actually used it prior I don't think I put it in a video but I masked it off and cut it out so that's what I'm thinking we're going to do are we going to do an actual card today I don't know we'll see but I have these so let's get to stamping, shall we? I want to cut this down to four by five and a quarter because I want to want to have a base. So what do we have it at? We're at four and a half. So let's make this. I'm going to do three of them. I'm filming on my 
old phone. The one I used to use is an old, old phone. This is just my old phone. I had to get a new phone. So I'm filming on my most recent old phone. And I'm hoping it works. Save these, guys. You can use these for something. Something at another date. All right. So we wanted to do it by four, by five and a quarter. I don't know if this will cut three. Let's see. This is five and a quarter. We'll see if it does. Tip when you're cutting thick stuff, especially. Go from the bottom up. Because this little lip here will catch it if it wants to go awry. Did it work? No. I got two. Two out of three ain't bad. It's been very warm here. We're supposed to get some rain today. So I think it's starting to. The winds are picking up a little bit. But that's okay. The plants need some rain, some water. They need a drink. Okay. So I think what I want to do I want to do something with this big Let's move you around a bit. I'm going to try to keep this in the middle. I have this down low now, so I could peek over and see what you're seeing. Can I poke it down lower? Oh, yes. Okay. So. Let's do something else first. Let's do some leaves first. I like these leaves. So. You don't have to have an excess amount of blocks, but it's nice to have an excess amount. I've collected these throughout the years. Some from Goodwill, like this one's from Goodwill. Um. Stampin' Up. This one's my absolute favorite from Stampin' Up. I like it because it's beveled. It's heavy. This is the D one. This is my favorite one. Um, but you can... Dollar Tree. Some of these. And my husband works in an acrylic shop, so he was able to get some cut for me. So it's good to know people. <laughs> anyway, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I guess I just did. Okay, let us see. I've picked out these three colors. It's Stampin' Up! Lemon Lime Twist, if you're going to be using the same colors as me. Emerald Ivory, Emerald Envy, and Sweet Sugar Plum. You don't have to use these colors. You can do your own greens, do your own pink, do your own colors. We shall see what happens here. All right. So, I put them on three different blocks because I don't want to have to change them out and get all inky. So, what I'm going to do here is just create a background. Turn. Stamp. Turn. Stamp. Turn. Stamp. Go off the line a little bit. Make it look a little more like it's intentional. And we'll put that aside. Then we'll take another color, a different stamp. You can overlap your stamps. don't have to you can another trick if you don't have a lot of colors try to find a piece of scratch I don't have scrap paper 
I hate to use a good piece. All right, use this one. You can stamp off and then stamp. Stamp off, stamp. It gives you a lighter version of it. Okay. Let's do this one in this yellow, but we'll do a stamp off. Oops. <laughs> I can use as a little mixed up. Stamp on, stamp off, boom. Stamp on, stamp off, boom. Stamp on. Stamp off. Boom. Okay. I think we have enough. I think we have enough here. Next thing we want to do. Let's close these up. I like the stamping up inks. I don't like the way these twist around because... Sometimes they're hard for me to do. So, whatever. My problem, not yours. All right. Another ink block. See, it pays to have them because I don't have to take these off and clean them completely and be completely yucky. All right. I'm going to use Versafine. Should I do Versafine? I'm thinking. I want to use alcohol markers to color this in. So I'm thinking Memento, but I don't know how dry my Memento is. So I think I'm going to have to use the stamp from a jiggy thingy, majigger or whatever this is called. Stamp Perfect. It's not, it is not, what is it called? It is not a misty, but it's misty like. I say this every time I use this. This is discontinued, I believe. Um, this is so old, I actually have the hinges taped and glued, but it works. Um, so now we have to decide which way is which? I think I like this way. Putting it down on the corner. Where do we want her? Let's do a few of them, actually. All right. Can you guys see? She's on here. I think we need to juice her up. I think I have another one. Let's see if she's juicy. That's why we put her in here. In case it's not juicy enough. Which it's definitely not. I'm going to juice up my ink pads and I'll be back. All right, I just juiced them up, juiced her up. Just this one. We shall see. Oh, you can hear her juicing, slurping. That might be too juicy. I might have juiced her too much. I gave her too much to drink. We shall see. Let's put you kind of there. Sorry about the glare. I'm telling you what, guys, if you don't have one of these little hockey puck things, air hockey puck thingies, Gotta get one. It saves on hurting your hands. Oh, it 
it's too dark. I'm just rubbing it off. All right. Hopefully we can save this. Hopefully. Let's put you here. Let me just try it one time. I'm going to leave it at one time. We'll see what happens. We shall see. All right. Let's put you wherever. Get away. Get away from me. Okay. Putting that away. All right. I'm going to use alcohol markers now. Like I said, use what you have. I did the memento so I could use the alcohol markers. If you're not going to use alcohol markers, you want to use water-based markers, you, I suggest you use the archival inks. You can use the Versafine, but you have to let it dry completely. In my experience. So, let's do some yellow and orange. Use what you have, guys. Use what you have. So we have, this is from Touch Yutch Yutch. I believe this was a Timo one. Lemon yellow. And this is pastel yellow from Firefly. You can mix and match. So we're going to do dark in. We do this real quick. Cause there's really nothing to it. Nothing to it. No, 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 it. My husband is downstairs playing a very loud video game. If you can hear him. Yes, we're adults. Yes, we like to play video games. My apologies. Him more so than me. I've been playing Minecraft. I built an awesome, well, I think it's awesome little, little city. My little town. It's when I'm not up here being creative. I can still be creative. I need to have a creative outlet one way or another. So, Minecraft gives me that creative outlet. Digitally. Okay. We don't have to get too fancy schmancy in here. Just get some color on here. I'm not thrilled with the darkness or the lack of darkness here. So I think I'm going to go over it again with a darker yellow. I prefer Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. And me being the lazy crafter that I am, honestly, it's right here on a shelf in front of me. But there's stuff in front of it. And that's how friggin' lazy I am that I didn't feel like moving stuff. It's legit two items that I have to move. <laughs> that's how much of a lazy crafter I am. I need to have an organizer come in here and make everything visually accessible to me or else I'm not going to use it all right I'm busting up the energy to move stuff look everything's moved now wasn't so bad now was it okay where's my tri blends that's what I want that's what we want is the tri tri blends are in here Voila. That's what we needed. All right, we're using Spectrum Noir Tri Blend, and I'm going to go with the middle one here, GY3, only because these other ones are so much lighter. 
and I'm just going to go around on the inside yet again wherever I feel there would be a shadow is what I'm doing summer is here guys I'm so excited I love summer I love water i love blue skies i love green grass i love palm trees i need to be in the tropics i don't like humidity so much but if i can jump into water somewhere and get into air conditioning i'm okay with that i love blue cool turquoise water i'm thinking about florida or the golf show shores in alabama to retire to all right, we're going to take this gold yellow blend. Oh, that is a gold yellow blend. Gold GY2, the lightest one, just so I can blend it out. So there's not real harsh lines. Anyway, um, I have a good couple years to go with my current job. It's only up here in Delaware. Well, actually, my job's actually in PA, but I'm right on the Delaware PA border, Pennsylvania border. So I'm able to commute back and forth. If they would allow me to work 100% remote from Florida or Alabama, I would do so in a heartbeat. My only other issue is my daughter lives in North, North, North PA. She's up in the mountains. And I want to see her. So That could be a bit of a travel conundrum for us. All right, let's do the middle... RB, it's mustard brown blend. Mustard, muted mustard. What the frig is wrong with me? I'm doing the two, number two. I just want to get the inside done. So yeah, Sarah, if Sarah and Tyler start having babies, Grandmama's going to want to be around, you know that. I'm going to be an all hands on deck, spoil the heck out of you, baby, Grandmama. So... That's going to be an issue if I'm down south and they're not. Just saying. All right, what do we think of that? What do we think? I think it needs to dry a little bit, and then we're going to do a little bit of Wink of Stella because you know cards need Wink of Stella. Okay. Let's work on the next one that I have in my brain. I'm thinking I'm liking this. situation I don't think I'm going to do the three colors this time around look how much I am really loving I'm telling you stamping up this stuff has been in my stash for many 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 years when I started crafting I don't even know when it was Look at my first video. That's when it was. But don't look at the video because it's a horrendous, embarrassing video. The first year Sarah and I did YouTube was horrendous. Um, but anyway, that's when I started doing Stampin' Up. And that's how old these are. Because I went hog wild on Stampin' Up products. I saw somebody's YouTube channel that... She was like, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you can get blah, 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 all for $99. And you don't even have to sell anything. And I was like, um, hell yeah. All this product for, for, for basically nothing. So I saved. It's actually not nothing because a lot of money to me. But I saved and saved and scrimped and saved and finally had enough that... I was able to get my starter kit and then I kept adding on from there now I stopped not that the products are bad or anything I just can't afford it at all not at all okay plus secret Dollar Tree has good stuff like their stamps are awesome Spring. 
This one. One did a big old stamp for. Big old stamp. We have a big old stamp. We need a big old. This is the biggest one from Stampin' Up. I don't know if they still make these either. This is the F one. It's big and heavy. It's very heavy. I don't like to use it because it's big and heavy, but it holds the stamp, so. Let's kind of put this here. I think I'm going to use the VersaFine for this one only because the other one's too juicy now. And we'll wait for this to dry before we color. And we'll be very careful with our coloring, won't we now? Okay. I'm scared. Do we want it this way or this way? I think we're just gonna do it the natural way. There we go. Telling you guys, you could go to Goodwill and maybe find an air hockey set just to get one of these. Or I'm sure you could probably get these on Amazon or Timu probably has these for crying out loud. I got this one from Sheen. I love it. Okay. We're going to let that one dry. And... I want to play. Let this one dry. We'll come back. Don't worry. No worries. I don't know where to put it. I'll put it up there. Remind me where that is. All right. I think. So we did stuff from this one. We did that sunflower one. I want to do the flower one. I think. I think I used this before in something, I'm sure. I'm just cleaning this one off. Okay. I think this would be cute. Cornered. Cornered. Oh. Did my head just get in the way? Let's do... We're using Sugar Plum now. Again, use what you have. The problem with this one... Do we have two of them? No. No. I figured it's going to be for me to go. I want it one that way backwards. And I know there's a way to do it. But I'm not doing that today. Honestly, nobody will notice. Oh, fudge. Make a mistake, turn it over. Here's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to pinch it in half and make a little teeny tiny mark there. All right. So I know. We need a pencil. Where's my pencils? Right there is the middle. So I want to go. Sorry, my head, guys. I gotta do it. It just has to be done. Some things just have to be done. Let me stand up here. Okay, let's see. Okay. might not work how it's working in my head oh I hope it works I hope it works I hope it works please work please work please work <gasps> a little better a little better a little better okay
a little better. All right, now, a little better, right? Let's take the lemon twist, lemon lime twist. We'll take some of these foliage here. Oh, I love how that little thing has a little thingy there. Adorbs. Okay. And what else should we use? I'm looking here. Let's use this. don't want ink on there. Because I want to put flowers in there. I'm going to put it in the pink. Okay. That one. And do we need another one? I'm thinking a little something, something. Just a little something. All right, I might have done too much. This might have been too overkill. All right, where's my little guy? All right, let's put this little guy. This is a little one from Stampin' Up. Again, I don't know if they still have it. A. Uh, I wanted to do the big one, too. Let's do the big one first. Big one won't fit on there. So what you could have done, oh, I should have done. I should have masked that off. Okay. If you wanted to be a little more professional than I am, you would have masked it off. I think that looks cute though. Don't you agree? Okay. Where'd this little guy go? This little guy over here. All right, now. What do we think of that? Put that one over there. I got an idea for one more. I'm not going to cut this one down. I just want to show you my idea because this framing thing, I like it a lot. I was going to switch to a blue, but this is dirty, so. I think I want to do corner to corner. I know we have to cut it down. That's why I'm doing it like that. And then some foliage. Hmm. See, guys, you can mix and match the foliage. You don't have to stick with...
They're little berries. I don't want to use berries. Let's. I've never used the fern before. Let's use the fern. Let's do a little bit darker. Now, I like this pink with this light green. Try not to rock your stamps like I did because then you end up with that, that little thingy there. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, how about this little guy? Is this doing anything? I don't know. Alright. We did that. We did that. We did that. And we did that. So let's cut this one down and paint this one. I'll cut that down off screen. Let's use some pinks in here. That's purple. Let's do the pinks. Um... Oh, let's do this one. All right, we have bright pink blend, BP3. It's a dark one. So we'll go in. My rule of thumb is if you see dark, it's a shadow on a stamp. Guessing it's not raining yet. I have my window open and I hear. Next door has a daycare. And I hear them outside playing. It's so cute when they're out there playing. They call me neighbor. They're like, hi neighbor. No one little boy learned to spell his name a while ago. But he's like, neighbor, I can spell my name. And he spells his name for me. He was so excited. They're cute. They yell at Taco all the time. Taco, be quiet. Because Taco barks at them. <laughs> Alright, now we're doing the next color, which is the lightest, lighter. It's a BP2, mid. I'm just doing that in the middle. Not much, though, because I don't want it to be stark, stark pink. I'd rather be more of a pale pink than anything. This is a long ass video, guys. Sorry. Some people do crafting videos in like 10 minutes. I don't know how. They're very organized people. That is not me. Alright, lightest is BP1. And we're just going to kind of blend it all together. And you can see my Versa mark didn't quite dry. <laughs> We're on a very cute little quiet street and a lot of people walk their dogs down our street. 
And our dogs don't like the other dogs. It's like an invasion of territory, I guess. Okay, here's what we have. And I'm gonna get off screen. I'm going to cut this one down. And then we're gonna figure out what we're doing with the rest of it. So I'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. And I decided to save some time and spare you guys some of the, uh, the uh, agony of <laughs> going through this process with me. So I started it. Um, what I did was I took a couple of card bases. I made a couple of card bases um, doing the A2 size cards. So I cut them four and a quarter by five and a half card base. This is 110 pound card stock as is this one. These other two are actually, I forgot I had them and I was like, why not use them? From a haul video I got from Goodwill, $1.99 it was, for um, these half fold greeting cards. They're very lightweight, they're probably 65 pounds. I think we went through this before. Anyway, you can use them. I use them. They're already pre-folded. So I was like, why not? So, two are going to be with the 110 pound. And the other two are going to be with the other cardstock. The problem with the other cardstock is it's pre-folded, which means either my card has to be this big, or I'd have to cut it and do, which is what I did. But that means I would have to have either a wonky side card, which I don't like them like that, or a flip up card, which again, I don't like them like that. I like my cards like this, but it's all personal preference. So anyway, I made four of them. I also took some ink and wrapped it around the sides of my card base. I'll show you here. I did it with the green around here. Just went like this around the edge to give it a little bit of color. There are some people, and I'll show you guys in the next video, a little tip of how you can make your background just, just by using white cardstock, you can change the color, obviously, by inking. So anyway, all right, so we have these. And then I had in my... People call them magic mugs. I can't remember the girl's name that does it. She's really funny. Um, some people call it their crafter stash or whatever, but a mug full of, I have not a mug, mine's a little container full of sediments already done. So I had some of them. So I just pulled them out. And then like this one here, I did yellow around it. I have a blemish here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put that there. And we're going to put this one on the side folding. Hopefully nobody will notice it. We're going to do that. This one here just says happy birthday. I thought it would be cute right in the middle here. The top folding one. This one here says at least you're still pretty. And then inside you would put happy birthday or whatever. But. You probably should put this on the inside. But I don't care. I like it. That's going to go there. And then the thinking of you. That would be cute right there. So that's where we're at. That's where we are. Not at. It's not at. And here, see, our, here's our mistake from earlier. Nobody will know because we're gluing it down. Push you guys up so I can show you what I was doing. This I think we might pop up a bit. Let's just pop it up a bit. A little bit of foam tape. These are foam squares. I have no idea where I got them from. I think Dollar Tree. Oh, these are stuck. Okay, they're trash. Here we go. 
I do want to put Wink of Stella on the card. Actually, let's do that now. I left my glasses downstairs, so I'm a little sad. I don't feel like going down to get them. I thought I had a spare pair up here. I don't know where they are. Wink of Stella, for those of you who don't know, is like a glitter, inky glitter pen that when you wipe it, it doesn't, the glitter doesn't come off. It's very subtle, but yet intense, if that makes any sense. Dogs are fighting again. What else is new? Taco is a little chihuahua. Chihuahua. I always say it wrong. Anyway, she's always fighting Hunter, who's a Shiba Inu. And she bullies him. She doesn't, she don't take any crap. Can you guys see... Sparkle, that is the. I love Wink Stella. All right. Card one done. I don't like this paper. It's too thick or too thin. I don't like those for cards. So I don't. I usually use them for the top pieces of my card and not so much the bottom piece. This one here we could prop up, but I think we will. A big old piece of foam tape. Speaking of you, do another Wink of Stella. Oh, and here, oh, this one's a juicy one. I'm getting tired. I got up early today. I usually, I work, I have a full-time job, but I was off since Thursday, and today is... Wednesday, so I went back to work today. By the time I get this posted, it'll be Thursday or Friday. Anyway, I was tired. What time is it even? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock and I was ready for bed. Okay. This one here. Should we pop up? Why not? One, Hello, Taco. Come to visit? Come on up. You come to say hi to the people? There you go. She sits behind me. There's that one. And that one. Do we put Wink Stella on that? Oh, yeah. It needs it. It needs it. Every card needs a little sparkle. The Stampin' Up! colors are water-based, so they do run when liquid hits it, especially water. Do a little bit in here. Give it a little sparkle darkles. I don't know if you can see it, but that one has sparkle too. And last but not least, which I actually think this one's going to turn out to be my favorite. I just have matte medium in here. Or do I have art glitter glue? I'm not sure which. Any 
and guess what? We're gonna pop it up. I love these little scissors, but they're not exactly good for glue. My glue's not good for them, so I end up having to get my eraser, my glue eraser, and scraping it off. I wish this would just edit itself and post. All right, we said we're going to put this up here just because we had that boo-boo. Let's do lots of Wink and Stella on you. The alcohol markers, the Wink and Stella doesn't make it move like it does water base. I love alcohol markers. I love it. Let's just sparkle the whole thing up. <gasps> yes. Girl likes a sparkle. There we go. I close this up. Alrighty, guys. Let's see what we did here today. Cleaning up as we go because if not, it'll never get done. Okay. Here's what we did today, guys. From Dollar Tree, we made, yeah, it was kind of the same color scheme. But we made some cards with Dollar Tree items. This was actually a wooden stamp from Hampton Arts. You can see the sparkle. It's sparkly. There, you can see it on this. Sparkly. So here's a few cards you can do with the Dollar Tree stuff. You obviously can change out your colors, but that's it guys i hope you enjoyed today's video please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so and i'm not sure what the next video is going to be or when it's going to be i'm trying to get back on track and i apologize for not being more diligent with it but i was thinking about doing every other day videos again my life just gets in the way maybe we'll, we'll see next week we'll see how things are going that, like I said, my dad's going back to Texas next week. So maybe things won't be as hectic as they seem to have been. So, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll catch you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.